Well, good Monday morning, everyone, and welcome to AMHQ Early. I'm meteorologist Jackie Jarris. As parts of the south and the northeast are now digging out from winter storm Benji, we are tracking the next possible winter storm already. Snow is coming down and clipper system that we're going to be watching that's going to be making its way across the Midwest into the Great Lakes and eventually into the northeast as the disturbance rides on through. A fast mover, so that's some good news. It will keep your totals down, but the timing of all of this, unfortunately, is going to be affecting a lot of those travelers, I think today as well. Lots of cold air is locked into place here, so this is going to be a snow event for the most part, and you can see that the snow beginning to leave the Duluth area now and really beginning to pick up across parts of western and central parts of Wisconsin. The I-94 and I-90 corridor are going to be rough going this morning. Madison getting in on that snow. Milwaukee, the snow right around the corner for you. Here's a look at the timing of all of this. A lot of it happening in the morning hours for you across parts of the Midwest. It will then track eastward, heading over towards Michigan, Detroit. I think the snow moves in mid to late this morning for you. Continues through the lunch hour. And then we'll watch that cold air continue to filter in on the back side of this after picking up a couple of inches of snowfall across the region. Here's a look at the picture as we head into the overnight hours for tonight. And then notice how that cold air blows over the warmer lakes. And we've got some lake effect snow warnings across the western parts of lower Michigan. So how much snow are we talking about here? Generally plan on one to three inches. So just enough to have to get the plows out and shovel off the sidewalks and the driveways uh, throughout the day for today. Here's your forecast for you in Green Bay. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the 20s through much of the day today with the primarily uh, hours with all the snow happening in the morning today part of the week and really the rest of the work week Pittsburgh you have a chance to stow your forecast almost each and every day here's a look at all the watches and advisories in effect already as our next winter storm will pull out of the Midwest across the Great Lakes and into the Northeast so we do think the biggest impact is likely going to be into parts of New England and here's why here's what's going to happen with that area of low pressure the energy is going to get transferred off the coast and then the low will likely intensify as it does that so we could see some really heavy snow amounts into parts of New Hampshire, into interior parts of Maine. Here's the forecast for tonight. You can see the snow still likely in places like Detroit down towards Columbus into Pittsburgh. Uh, Buffalo getting in on more snow as well as Watertown. As we head into tomorrow, notice the pink begins to enter the picture along with some of the green. So we think, you know, you may start out with a little bit of snow in places like Boston, but then end with rain. And so the I-95 quarter for the most part is looking wet wet as opposed to white, but if you get into the interior, uh, we are talking about some of those heavier accumulations, which will make things difficult uh, for sure. So let's take a look at the snowfall forecast across the northeast as we head between now and into your Wednesday morning. There you can see some of that purple indicating a nice wide swath of five to eight inches of fresh snow. There may be a few spots, especially with elevation in New Hampshire into the green and the White Mountains where you could be topping uh, maybe a foot of snowfall if you're lucky. So this is good news for the ski resorts and for recreation, but not so good for the travelers. Here's a forecast for Burlington starting tonight. We'll see that snow 18 degrees, 35 degrees and more snow on the way for tomorrow as well. On your Monday, it's back to work, back to school, back to reality for a lot of people, though some of you stay in home still as you recover from our winter storm. And here's the forecast across the country. We'll be tracking that clipper today across the Great Lakes, makes its way into the Northeast tomorrow. So there may be some travel problems along the I-95 corridor, especially if you're traveling by air. Across the South, those milder temperatures are gonna stick around across uh, places like Dallas, a little cooler later in the week. Staying hot in the West, the fire danger stays elevated through Thursday by Friday cooler temperatures. Ugh, look at that. Pretty start this morning across much of the country with snow on the ground. It's just not so fun to drive in. Here's a look at the forecast for you there in Green Bay. That snow should be pushing in, unfortunately, right around the time that you go to work. So the earlier you can get out this morning, likely the better off you're going to be, unless you can kind of do that telework thing, because after lunch, I do think things will die down. So that's the thing about clipper systems, right, is that they move very quickly, which tends to not allow them to bring too much snowfall. So far in the Twin Cities, you've picked up about a half of an inch of snow, and we're seeing some more of the moderate snow bands moving in along I-94 and I-90 across central parts of Wisconsin. Madison, 24 degrees. The snow is coming down. It's just to the west of you in Milwaukee, and we'll be moving in very shortly. So the 
Clipper system will continue to head off towards the east. This is a snow event as that cold air is already locked into place. It heads into the northeastern quarter by tomorrow with the heaviest snows in the interior area. But then this coastal low forms and really intensifies. So New England really getting the brunt of the snowfall totals, I think, out of this storm system. So here's a look at the forecast. You can see the snow moving across the Great Lakes through this evening into tomorrow. We'll watch that starting the interior parts of the Northeast. The I-95 quarter likely starts out on the dry side in the morning, but then we'll see mostly rain push into the region for the afternoon. And there you can see those lake effect snow bands setting up on the back side of it. Uh, so we'll see another significant event once this next clipper system moves on through. So snowfall totals generally on the range of one to three inches. You should be able to count the number of inches on one hand uh, for pretty much everybody, but we'll have to watch along the lakes, right? Your numbers will be a little bit higher because you'll see the snow continue to fall even after the clipper exits. Across the day, uh, when they saw that message. So black ice is a problem. Uh, in addition, all that, all that snow really melted across parts of the south yesterday, making the streets wet and then the temperatures freeze and it becomes icy. But look at this huge swath that we take a look at the path of Benji. This is more than 2,000 miles of snow uh, that accumulated from the deep south all the way into the northeast. Birmingham, Alabama, you had four inches of snowfall uh, from the two day storm for you. But look at what you typically see in an average season, about an inch and a half of snowfall. So it really helps to put it in perspective, a historic uh, storm. And here we take a look at the cold air that's in place back behind it. That cold air made it all the way into South Florida and cold enough that we have some freeze warnings, even hard freeze warnings across northern parts of Florida this morning. Well, let's go coast to coast now and check on our Monday morning weather headlines. Thursday